film Kangaroo is now at 10.55, an adaptation of a story by D.H. Lawrence, starring Colin... We recorded these scenes of community activities, which provide for us now a rare glimpse of the atmosphere of village life in the 20s. And had it not been for the Timmons family, these would likely have been lost long ago. Oh, there we are, Loch Gelly Co-op. Yeah. At the co-op there. Now, that co-op building, I think, is just closed. Yes. yes. Part of it. Yeah, part the grocery it. part is still open. Part of it. Mm -hmm. Now, that's going back to the but 1920s. Oh, yeah. And the, the, the co-op shopping week would have been a big occasion, was it? was a big occasion, too. The co-op. See, they had a cooperative gala, had not they, Davey? Uh-huh. And a school gala and a, and a church gala. We had quite a few galas. And uh, for, for, the, for the shopping gala, well, everybody turned out for the occasion, didn't they? Oh, yes. They? These, are all, did. these yeah. are all the departments. Uh -huh. Yes. The department put on their own display. Mm hmm Everything was a horse at that time. Horse? No, no vehicle. Mechanical vehicles. No. And pro horses. There were some beautiful horses among them. Yes. And they were well cared for. And cattle as well. Well, that would be coming out of the butchery that. department, probably. The what the, department? The, the butchery, oh, probably, the butchery, for the, yeah, for the sake of showing it all. Beef, the, beef on the hoof. Uh, beef on the hoof. That's Mackay there. Who's that? Is that? Mackay. Who's he? Louise in the toe. Huh? Yeah. And are they dressed up for the occasion? Oh, I know. Yes. Yeah. Obviously, look at See the lad with the tally lamp, mm -hmm. the uh, carbide lamp on his bonnet. That was a brass bond. The local band. Ah, uh -huh, that's Thomas Timmons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's really it, fast. that was him at first. Would that have been a local band, Davy? Aye, aye. Yes, we'll it's a town band. band. Oh, yeah. here's the children's gala. Coming from all the schools. Yes. Do you recognise anybody there? I'd mm -hmm. like to be one of them. You'd be yeah. one of them, wouldn't yes. you? Have the chance. <laughs> They're obviously having a good time there yes, with that. Yeah. Oh, I like the bottles of juice. Oh, this was something you look forward to. And how was this financed? How was the money raised for this children's outing? I think there was investments for the town council at that particular period. And the money derived from that, uh, you, George Jones, the town clerk in Mogiel, told me earlier again, he says, David, he says, the town clerk get that money. But he says, I don't think we had any right to keep that. Who's, so who's, says, who's this? Look, we see, we're seeing a, a couple here obviously having a good time. Where are they? There they here they come now. Come on. Yes, this couple here. Who are they? Pug Jock. That's Pug Jock. He's a vagrant. And they were here and, they, mm. and everybody kept him going. They were all good to him, you know. I right. just baked. Now, they would have been what, a committee? I that was it. Baiting the minister. You just see, uh, you just see him there. Well, that was him that married me. A woman? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, there yes. you are. He married us, Mr. Peyton. This looks like the WRI sampling the bacon. And mm -hmm. this is all the women that have been served in the no, children. Right. Huh? With their lemonade and... and that's cheese. a nice little boy, isn't, right. it? isn't it? Isn't it? What's happening here, Davy? I think the, 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 the new pennies. They're bringing back their empty lemonade bottles, the bottles and get the, the penny. bottles back and... The idea was not to let them break the bottles. To bring them prepared, back and get a penny. They prefer bring the bottle back and get a penny than... <laughs> And, the ball. and that's uh, Jim Crow there. That's right. He's an old member of the Black Watch and one of the men that started away the lectures from the Scrubbin Oh, really? Aye. Oh, aye. And here they are showing off their new pennies for the camera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We should know so all these kids, ago. you know. What was that? Uh, we should really know. It's so long ago. Yes, you it you is. see the resemblance in faces of the older people nowadays. Now, here's the old pensioners' uh, outing. Yeah. There they go. Yes, Mrs. Leaden. Mm -hmm. Would you know oh, anybody yeah. here, Davy? Oh, I would know oh, them all. But it's that long yeah. ago. You just kind of fit the face to the knee, but it goes away too quick. They've all got their Sunday hats on. Nice. Aye. There were some hardy annuals on them. You were <laughs> <everybody. laughs> Recognise anybody? So they always keep the men and the women separate? Oh, no, <laughs> not really. Oh, no. Well, I've maybe been in the pub, the men, you see. They're coming out. There's all gone to the moon that stayed two doors below me. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. And I can hear a nod. 
And Walt Chalmers is, is down here in the corner. Mm -hmm. And that's all the air No. The air day. And the whole town turns out to see the old ones oh, up yes. the house. Oh, I will give them a hearty send off. Right. Do they still have old folks out in so far, really? Mm -hmm. uh, I've done that for 1945. It's up just in the present day. You've I'm been organising that. Uh -huh. It's not long since Thursday, is it? No. It's always on the third Wednesday in, in June. 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 Oh, right. Yeah. Obviously out to enjoy themselves. Oh, yes, yes. Well, we tried to get hold of one of the meat pies from 1927, but no such luck. But we have turned up one of the pennies that they got back for their empty bottles looking almost as good as it must have done then. Davy, tell me how the money was raised for these uh, old folks' outings, because it must have been quite, cost quite a lot. Initially, it was the uh, money that was derived from investments that the, corporate, the town council made. But in 1946, I made an approach to the miners' union in Mokele, and asked them, would they donate a penny from the old Logelli pits and there was 12, round yes, about Logelli. Every week. And we got a penny every week. And then the 19, the middle, no, they were 60s, 61 and 62. I invested 12,000 pounds to a building, well, building society belonging to this thing. And that paid for the old folks to have them? Well, this at uh, 15%. That's very good, so you made some money oh, out what? of it, it too. Did. Yeah. It was uh, the town clerk, Alec McKenzie, that uh, gave me a ring on the phone. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, George Johnson, the town clerk, was in Bavaria on a holiday. He said, I don't, he said, with a short time, baby, he says, what should we do? But the, the miners were always very generous oh, when yes. you gave oh, them oh, oh, money, yeah. yes. Mm. Mary, let me ask you, did you ever go on any of these outings that we saw in the film? Yes, I have been on, but not at that time, Mary, no. Well, no, no, no in these pictures. What do you remember about these outings? Well, taking my mother up to the bus and giving her a bag of sweets to eat with her friends and kissing her goodbye and have a good time, Mum. And mm. what about the children's gala? They, what were they supposed to take with them when they went on their, their Oh, They just outing? took a tin mug with them. You had to supply their own mug. Yes, yes. yes. for their lemonade. Oh, if you have Usually they were in you had it on your neck with a um, string. Or a blue ribbon for the girls. Or, uh, or the boys. <laughs> and how did they travel? Did they go by Sharabang as well? No, they walked. They just they went walked into a for the, They walked well, for the galas. Uh -huh. Normally. Yes. They, they walked right round the main thoroughfare in the town, up the mm -hmm. main thoroughfare and down the main road to Kirkcaldy and through the busiest place in the place was Hartelan. Hundreds mm -hmm. of families were there, and uh, they went up to the park. And what did they do there, apart from eat their sandwiches? Well, and the, 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 the committee races. had races and, and uh, football, mm -hmm. five a side, and else. Oh. they had lots of sports for the children at all ages. Yeah. It seems to me, Elizabeth, as though Loch Gelly was awful good to its folk, the young and the old. Oh, the, yes, it was, really. Mm -hmm. Do you think there was a good spirit then? There was a good spirit then. I mean, there still is a good spirit, but not like what it was long ago. Why is that? What's the difference? Yes. New people come into the town, you see. The old people are practically all gone. Mm -hmm. And it's a new element that's in the town now. Do people care for one another as much now as they used oh, to? No. Do people as neighbourly? So. No. no, no they oh, they're not neighbourly. No. I have a lot of friends. But, but the one thing uh, I would like to say, I'd like to pay tribute to the licensees in Mogali. The pub owners. Yeah, oh, they're very good. And the, all the clubs. Because for the first to five years that I went round the boot collecting all types of spirits for the occasion. There was always summer the drive and the Christmas mm -hmm. treat. I never ever got a refusal. That's never. That's fine. That's typical of the spirit of oh, a yes. small community. Yes. And Loch Gelly was obviously among oh. the best of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you all very much for coming up and telling us about it. Thank that's you for having us. A pleasure. Thank you. And that's it. Until next week, goodbye. <laughs>